Welcome back, wood lovers. It's Friday. Where has this week gone? Nobody knows. It keeps happening. It's witchcraft. Anyway, Fridays are special, and this Friday is very special because today we are looking at Dia Spiros, Classiflora. That's right, West African ebony. Ebony? Ebony. But not just any West African ebony. This is Crelacam ebony from Cameroon. And it's here. And it's special for a number of reasons. But I'll just show you it first because it's, yeah, it's the really good stuff. Now, you might be forgiven, now you, you will be forgiven for thinking this could be Macassar ebony. Very similar, but it's not. So, West African ebony typically is jet black, right? You know, it's, it's the wood that has for centuries been used for musical instruments, for very fine decorative elements on furniture, and has long been prized for its density, for its workability, um, and for its jet black colour. But for centuries, uh, that's been the only ebony that was, was accepted. Um, only one in 10 ebony trees is jet black. The rest is striated and was traditionally discarded. Um, but of course, the only way that you know if a tree is gonna be jet black is if you cut it down. And so lots of ebony went to waste which is a crying shame because this is just utterly beautiful and mechanically it's, it's the same. Forestry practices um, were very exploitative. Quite often trees would be cut and, and shipped out to wherever just as raw timber. And so um, Bob Taylor, in partnership with Medinta, who are a wood um, product supplier based in Spain, they came together and um, founded the, the Crelacam project, which is a project that's been set up to readdress the issues surrounding um, the harvesting and production of ebony and secure a sustainable uh, future. And in doing so, um, you know, uh, ceasing these exploitative practices, raising wages in the area, and um, generally creating a new economy in, in forestry um, and the production of musical products in Cameroon. This set of wood is going to be built into a very special guitar. This is going to be the Tony Policastro Signature Model L. Now, if you're not familiar with Tony Policastro, he is a wonderful human. He is uh, the founder of Acoustic Life TV and Tony's Acoustic Challenge. And he's also the host of Acoustic Tuesdays on YouTube, which is a fantastic guitar geekery uh, show uh, every Tuesday on YouTube. It's, it's just a fabulous show. Uh, it's a wonderful community and Tony is just the, he's just the nicest guy ever. So he approached me um, probably about a year ago now and we, we, we started talking about having a, a guitar built. He was really into my Model L's. And, um, and so the, the idea and the concept for the, the Podcastro Signature Model L was born. So why, um, why ebony? Why did we choose ebony for the back and sides? Well, we are going with a European spruce soundboard, uh, which is uh, one of my favorite topwoods to build with. Um, Tony is particularly drawn to the sound of my guitars that have a European spruce top. And uh, we wanted something that was kind of rosewood-esque, but kind of dialed down a little bit in terms of overtone content. We didn't want something that was like super sparkly and super bright with with overtones, and for me, something like ebony is um, is a really good choice. It's a little bit more dense um, than a lot of the rosewood species, and I find that building with it, I'm, I'm able to get that kind of dialed back sound. It's a more fundamental sound, and I think paired with the European spruce, it's just gonna be a really beautiful balance. You know, with my Model L being such a big guitar, um, it's very bassy, it's very powerful, and if you're not careful with your wood selections, quite quickly things can have, have, the, have the, uh, the opportunity to, to kind of spiral out of control. So let's have um, a little blast with the magic spray, and uh, you're gonna wanna sit down, put your sunglasses on, because this is, this is pretty special. And because it's Friday, and because it's such a special set, yeah, we are, we're gonna go full beans and I'm gonna do the full book match. And this is just the bee's pajamas. 
the dog's cojones. Look at that. We have just got just the most incredible markings. It's golden brown, it's rich, it's deep. We've got the you know quintessential ebony jet black in there. We've got these two little characteristic, I don't know what you'd call those, like little cat's eyes there. And what I really like about this set is that the grain is kind of suggesting that Model L dreadnought kind of shape. It's just gonna work absolutely beautifully for Tony's signature model. I haven't, done, haven't let you hear it yet. I just got carried away with the excitement. So you can hear, it's got some of that high-end sparkle that you would traditionally associate or typically associate with, uh, with rosewood, but it's not like in your face, it's not dominant and it's not sustaining quite as long as something like rosewood would. It's got that low rumble, which you would, which you'll hear if you're on listening on headphones or with some good speakers. Yeah. I absolutely love it. I've got to be a little bit careful with ebony. Uh, I'm quite sensitive to it, so you know, always got to make sure that I'm wearing uh, respiratory gear. Got the uh, extractor fans going at all times, but. It's well worth the effort. Um, it's just such a beautiful wood. It's so pleasant to work with. Yeah, I love it. Crelicam Ebony from Cameroon. Sustainably sourced, ethically harvested, thanks to the efforts of uh, Bob Taylor and the folks at Medinta in Spain. Just wonderful. I think this is gonna make an absolutely spectacular guitar and i can't wait to get to this later on in the year i know a lot of people have been asking about it and so here it is here's the wood for the very first tony policastro signature model l that will be uh will be starting later in the year and hopefully well i won't i won't give away too many secrets have a wonderful weekend we will see you tomorrow for something completely different but very exciting once again <laughs>